I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we have dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. Father. What's going it's on? me. What's happening? I'm... I'm your dad. Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the Vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. 
They stole you. Kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. Kellogg, he worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us. To have some amount of revenge. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. 
scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Your Institute has done some horrible things. <sighs> yes, well... The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full gym. There we go. All set. This, this is the Institute. They're playing God. Things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. The Institute treats sense as property, as tools. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. A paradise built on the backs of slavery is no paradise at all. Under your son's watch, the Institute has committed many atrocities. If he learned you were trying to free sins, he could do something drastic. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. Answer with your gut on this, your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a sin, would you do it? There are great wrongs that need righting. It's not an easy road you've chosen. Doctor, you've requested another synth memory reset. May I ask for what reason? You want a reason? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. 
Even though lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? All those innocent people up there... dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee.